Hey everyone, welcome to N40X. This is uh, this is a grot spot in Partington. Um, I haven't got long because the the uh, sun has just gone down, so probably got about an hour or something to get back home. So uh, I just thought I'd uh, show you this. This has been here for quite some time, and uh, you know I could see that you can see over that you can see that anyway. It's been actually shoveled up because that's where it used to be. So someone has shoveled it up onto that land there. Now it tells me that this is. You see where the uh, the black part is, all the, uh, the the dirt. That's on farmer's land, this land here. But the now that is on Trafford land. Thing is, right? I I reported it when it was on there, and this is still here. <laughs> it's still here, and up there there's a, a bit of uh, there's a few bags knocking about as well. So what I'm trying to say is is that um, it's not it, you know the more longer this uh, stays around. The, uh, the longer that it gives the people, um, oh, right, we can do it then. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, if it's okay for them to do it, so can we. That's, the, that's what they will think. And so then we'll get a whole load of people um, fly tipping. And before we know it, we've got nothing but problems here. And this has always been a grot spot. Um, and, you know, there's a councillor. I'm not blaming the councillor, so don't, don't get me wrong here. But well, there's a councillor that lives, what, about 10 minutes away. Does she see this every day? Does she see the bags um, down there? And all the bags a bit further up? I don't know. Does she see these things? I mean, or what's going on in Pinton? Does it, or is it that she has to wait for, for, someone to, um, for someone to email her or to ring her? Oh, there's a problem on Chapel Lane. Um, and so then for you ask yourself, if that is the case, then she's not actually working in the area, or in fact, all three of them, you know, just uh, they're actually working, are they? They're just relying on reports. And this is the thing that frustrates me, because I know this is what's happening. Is this right? Can I ask you the question? You, the viewer, is it right for a councillor just to do that, to get paid quite a lot of money? Um, not a great deal. Apparently, they don't get paid that much. But um, you know, Trafford councillors uh, heard some stories about them. Um, the Labour ones, anyway. Obviously, the Labour. Um, I've heard some stories. Um, so anyway, yeah. I, I just, you know, it makes you think. I'm, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to engage with you. I'm trying to say to you, look, you know, is this right? Is it right for for a councillor just to wait for emails, just to wait for telephone calls? I mean, if I was a council, okay, you know, you've got all the things to do. I'm not saying there isn't, but, you know, you only live 10 minutes away. I don't think it's even that. And I just wonder, I really do wonder, and this is the message I'm getting home to people. Um, so so that, that's what I want, um, I want people to understand. It's not getting at someone. I mean, the other thing is when I've had problems with uh, councils in the past, of course, that, the female one, um, she's, uh, she's got a little bit worried and absolutely um, no, for no basis. No, there's no, there's no, it's only her paranoia. I mean, you know, that tells me what standard, what she's thinking. I mean, if she's that paranoid, you know, of someone who's just saying, look, look what's happening. And then she feels that's a criticism. And then she goes and gets the bloody police. <laughs> oh, I'm scared now. Oh, I'm scared. What she, what she means is I'm scared of the criticism. I'm scared of actually doing something. That's what she bloody means. Um, so... At the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is it's not right what's happening here. Um, and it could happen in other places and just not just in uh, Brooklyn, I'm sorry, um, Bucklow. It could happen anywhere. I think the councillors are, are really are not working for us. And I am trying to point this out to people. And this is part of it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Um, it's getting rather, getting rather darker now. Uh, bloody hell, it gets, gets dark quicker now. So um, I don't want to be stuck in, the, in these dangerous lanes down there, you see. I don't want to get stuck in them. They're bloody dangerous. Um, really, it really are dangerous for cyclists. Something really does need to happen. Um, and, you know, this Trafford Cycle Forum needs to, needs to look at Cinderland Lane. They really do. And you know what? They really don't. And that is really worrying. Guys, take care. Have a good one. And hopefully this will be removed very soon. Take care.